Good morning friends, this is Jagdish Shahuja and what are we expecting on Tuesday the 10th of January? What are we expecting with the markets? So let us first go and take a quick wrap up on what exactly has been transpiring. Well, Dow Jones after an impressive 700 point rally gives up a little bit of it at 112 points at 32,517. Why? Because again some Fed officials did express a concern and said that yes, the interest rates could go above 5%. So that is something which is going to be happening. Hang Seng is down 52 points at 21,335. The Nikkei is up 249 points at 26,223. Tau futures is flat. So a flat market is what we are looking at. Even Brent crude is also flat at 79.58. The gold, of course, is inching a bit, $3 up at 1875 Nothing much to talk about. Let's look at the FI activities and what are we seeing here? In the FI activities, we find that the FIs have hardly sold anything, 203 crores, whereas the DIIs have bought 1723 crores. Now, looking at the complete data, we see that the FIs have been you know, sporadically selling quite a bit and the, this week, I mean, you can look at it from January itself, they've sold 212, 628 almost. If you look at it, uh, close to 7,000 crores of selling has already started taking place. That's not a good sign. I guess all this money seems to be going towards the China way. And because that economy is opening and there the stocks are adding crazy amount of valuations. And the DIS, of course, are definitely supporting the market as what it has been seen here. Coming back, we see that the Singapore Nifty is also flat at 18,148. And we shall look ahead and see what else is there in the news today. And the news, of course, TCS Q3 results was quite good, impressive. Net profit has risen by 11% and the stock also did rise yesterday. Let's see what's going to be happening today where the profit taking should come at higher levels and that's more likely expected with the current situation. The technicals of the market, let's go and have a check. The Dow Jones, the Dow Jones, yes, has closed yesterday at 33,517, gave up a little bit of gains as you can see here, you know, and ended in losses after this beautiful green candle. But there is something cooking here. Number one, we're finding that a beautiful cup a rounding bottom is in formation and maybe a little handle here and once it closes above you know 33,800 uh, you know uh, neatly and cleanly then we could again expect a, a rally of actually 700 points and could go up to 34,500 so a nice case to watch out for let us look at it the nifty daily is a tad weaker of course and it's showing that you know it's been making serious uh, you know, uh, lower tops as you can see and lower bottoms except here and this is the place where you know it comes 17,780 and from there it bounced back to 18,200. Now again it has come back and you know come and tested the 17,800 levels but it's a higher bottom so there's a bright chance that the market just stays in a range and you know breaks above because uh, as long as 17,800 is maintained you know, we have a fort to guard out here. Now coming to the bank nifty, the bank nifty is much better placed with again the same sort of pattern. But yes, what we see in the bank nifty is that the top is, you know, the slope is slightly less gradient and that is what makes it more attractive. At the same time, the market is getting squeezed, lower tops, higher bottoms and a wait and watch attitude is what we see. And if you like this video, please click like, share and subscribe and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter or LinkedIn to get more of the same. Take care. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.